All right, here we are. In the last one I said I cut it at this point. I cut it at this point because I accidentally went ahead. Poke! Ah, oh, he poked my eye. I actually went ahead, as I was saying, and did the whole dungeon. <laughs> and I didn't realize I'd gone over 10 minutes. All right, it's 11:40. I started about 11:40. So, oh, I don't have to go up here. See the little platform that made for me? A lot of people make that mistake. Hey, there's the balloon. All right. Let's tie a balloon to our head and just stand here. Yeah, this is great. It wasn't him, but I'm still going to punish him for it. Oh, also, you may notice I have 88 health now. I have 67 health currently, but total of 88. Because I leveled up. I'm not going to worry about you guys. You guys are just a waste of my time, man. All right, this guy, I think I... No, I didn't show him in the last one. He was kind of annoying, because he multiplied a couple times. Here we go, secret treasure. Whoa, 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 yo, what? You think you could just come into our house and steal our stuff? Found the rope! They can't hit me while I'm looking at the treasure. Oh, but after I'm done looking at the treasure, then they rape me. Rape, 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 run. Everyone run. Ah, Stay away from me. Those things poison you and they multiply. And there's a mush boom in this cave. I don't know how it got in here. But I'm not going to worry about him. Hey, there's the secret <clears throat> magic rope. Some people miss, but most people are pretty good about exploring the dungeon. They get it. They get it. Alright, I'm not going to worry about these guys. Why am I doing that? Right over here is another, another uh, blob. And as long as you can keep... Uh-oh. Watch me. Oh, I don't even know what happened. Uh, watch me speed through this. See, if you get balloonized and you're playing on a mod, or whatever they call it, on a ROM, you can just fast forward. Look at my health. Okay, I'm going to take care of that right now. With one of my candies. Boom. Okay. Ignoring you. There's nothing down there. Ignoring you. Go right up here, because to the right, there's a blob. Oh, I got past him first try. Spiffy sweet. Ah, the room of mystery. The stairway that goes to a platform that leads nowhere, and the stairway that literally goes nowhere. I think that was kind of a joke for the p developers of the game. It was kind of a joke. Hey, let's give him a stairway that leads nowhere, that never leads anywhere. It's just there. Look at that, I didn't charge up 100%. And now he hit me. So that's the problem, you have to charge up 100%. Eh, <laughs> he hit me again. Oh, you are in for pain now. You ready for a world of pain? Poke. I wonder what's over here. I can't remember. I think that's a... I don't know. Alright, people, the music's changed. Which means... We're in Dwarfville. Alright, I think I started about four minutes ago, so I got a little bit of time. You can hear rumblings from somewhere even deeper than here. Sounds like digging. They really need to, like, use apostrophe N's instead of the ING, because that's more dwarf-like. <laughs> hey, the N. Should I heal? Yeah, that's pretty cheap, and I should probably save before I fight the boss. Oh, it's 15 now. It went up by 5. Alright, speeding through this. Okay. Save my game, yes. I would love to! I'm level 5 now, and my, my spear is also level 1. And to get my weapons to level 2, I need another magic seed, I think. This is the way to Watts, which I think I have to go talk to him. And you will get to know Watts really well. He's the only dwarf who's blue. And he also has the voice of Sean Connery. Say, show me that sword. It's covered with rust. It'll break in no time. I am Watch, the blacksmith. I'll reforge it for 100 GP. Please do. Right, wait a sec. Now it's no longer a rusty sword. It's done. I've never seen a sword as fine as this one in my life. Ha, sha, 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 sha. Sorry, Sean Connery. I hope someday I can reforge such a splendid sword. Huh? What on earth? What on earth? 
My hammer started to glow. Wait just a minute. That must be the Mana Sword. Astonishing. Perhaps the power of the Mana Sword has seeped into my hammer. Great. I think, think I'll try to make an axe with this. Come back in a while. Alright. I'll come back in a while and he'll have nothing done. He'll be like sitting there, smoking weed, eating briars. Underground pl palace? That's been buried for ages. Oh man. Really? So I'm on a wild goose chase? Okay, here's the item shop and armor shop. This guy has got the monopoly. I can't remember. He sells better um, wristbands and stuff. So I think I'll buy the better wristband. Okay, he's got power wrist and elbow pad. <sighs> Which one's better? I want to say the power wrist because it's more expensive. Um, he also has better armor. He's got a chain vest and a spiky suit. Gotta buy the spiky suit. And now I'm poor. Uh, don't quite have enough for the power wrist, do I? But I can sell my old suit and maybe my old wristband, and then I'll have enough. So let's do that really quick. Anything else? Yes, I'll buy. I'll sell. I don't think you can sell the magic rope. Uh, let's sell the overalls, because I'm not a farm boy. And we'll sell the wristband, and I'll have just enough to buy the better wristband. And also, if it's not the better wristband, I can just rewind. <laughs> Oh, I'm evil. Yeah, it's more expensive, so I'm gonna assume that it's better. If it's not, I will be really, really angry. All right, there we go. Uh, sorry about that. I had a brain fart. Equip. Spiky suit has 13. It's bad ass. All right, all the best armor for this point in the game. And I think I feel a sneeze coming on again. I swear to God, I have a cold or something. Okay, here's the Elder's Hut. I think we go to the right room first. This is where we first meet our next hero. Ha ha ha! Welcome, the, welcome to the Dwarf Village. Have you been next door? There are many curious things in this village. Why not take a look? Alright. Why not? Got some time. I think it's been, uh... About seven minutes, I'm gonna say. Um... What? Was I tricked? Step right in. It's the Dwarf Village's world-famous exhibit hut. Elder? Me? Nah. I run a show. Wanna see it? It'll be 50 GP. Oh, I don't even have that. Yeah! Um, I mean, no. Come again! Bring money. <laughs> see you at Disney World. Bring money. Looks like I need to earn some more cash, guys. What should I do to earn that cash? I'll go outside, kill a, one or two monsters, and then I'll call it a day, probably. <laughs> Gonna kill monsters until I have lots of cash in my pockets. Actually, this is a case when killing blobs is actually kind of useful. Because blobs reproduce, which is very annoying, but it's also kind of handy because by reproducing, you have a chance to get lots of items. You can fight them for hours, if you do it right. That guy was on my back. He was, like, attached to my back. There you go, reproduced. Oh, shit, there's three of them. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I can't even hit them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I did 18 damage. What am I gonna do? Oh, yeah, hit them all. Ugh. Get over there. Bam. One down, and they're going to reproduce. Watch. Yep, there he goes. I will kill you. Got you. Reproducing. See? They always do that before you even get a chance to hit them. I could charge up my weapon and do a little more damage, though. That's what I usually do with these reproducing ones. Look how many I'm killing. There's an item. Oh, that item's got feet. I didn't know the feet, the running items were this early in the game, actually. Do they count as a, no as a monster? Okay, it's been about nine minutes since I started recording, if I were to guess. It's probably been longer, so I'm going to call it a day after I get this item. I'm going to get this item. Oh, hey, get back here! Get back here! Ugh. Those things are kind of funny. All right, a medical herb.